Bro, if this thing was actually like built right, you could probably like triple freaking overhead this link. Like no problem. Ah, my toe. Oh, frick my toe. Hey, what's poppin' everyone? Welcome back to a brand new video. So, today we're gonna be testing the highest rated Amazon scooter that I could find. Now, obviously it's not gonna be super expensive because if you wanna buy like a really highly rated one, like I'm talking like 350 bucks, yeah, they're gonna be high rated. But, this is the highest rated I could find for like $50. Straight from Amazon, okay? It's in this box. It's actually really small compared to what I thought it was gonna be, but we're gonna hit the GoPro, ride for a little bit, get sturdy, and then check this thing out. Oh, also, I forgot, the Ridener Skate Park Jam is Saturday, May 13th at 2 p.m. Right here, literally at this location. Come here, Saturday, May 13th, 2 p.m. Literally, we're gonna have a, so much scooters to give away, it's ridiculous, so don't miss out. All right, let's get the blood flowing, let's run it. That was pretty hot. Check it out. All right, so like I said, I bought this for literally like $50, maybe $60. I'm pretty sure it was $50, but it's not a huge difference. I actually accidentally bought two of them, um, so I'm not gonna use both of them. But it's literally called a arcade rogue scooter, entry level stunt scooter, okay? Dialed to ride. We're gonna see. We'll take it out the box and see what she's made of. Okay, it's definitely well packed. There's a lot of plastic around it, which is kind of a good sign. So we're gonna rip this plastic up and uh, put it together. Does come with tools, that's a W. It's very simple, just put the bars on the on the deck and you'll be pretty much ready to go. I'll be honest, it's actually a pretty cool color. Like, I dig the mint. It's not really mint, but it's not really green. It's kind of right in the middle. Comes with chromoly steel bars, I'm assuming. They're not that heavy, but they are definitely tiny. So, we'll slide the bars on the deck and we'll see what's good. Comes with two of these, these are five mils. Okay, so I'll take all of it is five millimeters. Okay, so literally about three minutes went by and it's all together. It's actually pretty dialed straight out of the box. It's really light too. It's legit like maybe six or seven pounds. Like this thing doesn't weigh too much at all. The specs are probably like 23 tall by like 20 wide. It's not that big. It's definitely good for like a smaller kid. Deck is very small. It's actually not too short, but it's definitely like four wide max. Wheels are probably 100 millimeters in diameter and the deck has nothing on the bottom. It's just green. It's really not too bad. Like if I only had 50 bucks, I wouldn't be looking away from this thing. I'll be straight dead honest with you. I'm not a huge green guy, but I definitely dig this color. How does it ride? We're gonna find out. And magically I changed my clothes. So the first thing we're gonna test is how it just rides normally. Okay, no crazy tricks, just cruising around. So we're gonna strap the GoPro on, see what's good. Okay, now I do have very low-ish hopes for the wheels on this because uh, they are so small. So this thing is definitely not gonna be as fast as my scooter or even close. Okay, here we go. See what you got. Okay, not bad actually. It's really not that slow. It's not like mind-blowingly fast though. So let me let me just jump this again. Okay. All right, I would say it's like I said, it's basically like a Miata if you compared that to a scooter. Yeah, they don't feel that bad, but like imagine my scooter was a Lambo and this is a Miata. Okay, that's basically how you compare this. All right, let me try this side. Dude, it's not really that, whoa my God. So right off rip, Wheels, they feel probably like a five out of 10. They're not amazing, but they're not absolute dogs. Now I can already see that this thing is gonna be very light, but I definitely wanna see if it grinds well. 
even though the deck is extra small. <laughs> okay, just what I expected. Definitely not wide enough to do any like actually crazy looking grinds, but it's not that bad. Now just keep in mind, I'm comparing all this to my scooter. So like anything that's five inches, that's that's a 10. This is, this is anything else. All right, so I can almost guarantee you I'm not doing no 50s on this, but board slides, not too shabby. All right, just for the sake of it, I'll try a front 50 on this. Okay, yeah, I don't think I want to ever do that again. It's like trying to grind a rail with a pencil. It doesn't really work. Okay, I think I could try to hit the handrail. Even though that's really not a good idea, I'll just try it, why not? Handrail. Okay, all right, it wasn't that bad. I was expecting it to be way sketchier. Next thing, manual game. Manual this guy. Okay, not bad, now the bigger one, here we go. Okay. All right, it's definitely getting a little looser as we go. But keep in mind, this thing isn't really meant to support somebody like me. It's really support, meant to support somebody between like 60 and 80 pounds max. Maybe a little bit more, but okay, here we go. I haven't really done any tricks, so we're gonna start with the simple bar spin. Okay, ow. Grips, zero out of 10. They suck, okay? They're very freaking hard. They're literally made of just like squishy-ish plastic. Not good. See if I can 360 the pyramid, oh boy. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, tail hoops are weird. Yeah, this deck is probably even lighter than my deck, which is really ridiculous, but it's also like so tiny, it's unbelievable. Try a tail hoop again. Okay, listen. Oh my God, that's actually unbelievable. Like, if I even tried to actually spin it around, I'm probably gonna overdo it. All right, feeble grind, here we go. Uh-oh. Right back here, there's definitely not enough space, but I can make it work. Oh my God. I almost looped out of there. Holy cow, that was scary. I definitely don't know if bry flips are gonna be very good on this because the bars are so dang short, but we're gonna send it. Oh my God, that was actually so easy, but the grips made it so bad. All right, I will say 100%, if you buy this scooter, definitely replace the grips because you're not gonna have any fun with these rock hard freaking pieces of plastic. No chance. Yeah, like everything else isn't that bad. Like for 50 bucks, it's not too shabby, but the grips, you gotta get rid of them. Oh, uh, dude, do I wanna flare this? I think I have to just because. Okay, maybe we tail up the pyramid. Uh-oh, goodness gracious. Oh boy. Oh! Oh! Dude, this deck is so light, it's almost like I have to not whip it at all for it even to work. All right, run me a 270 on the hip. Here we go. Okay, I really don't want to bri flip it, but... Oh yeah, nope, I'm good. Bar's too short. And getting snaked, nice. Okay, so I've ridden it for not too long at all, and it already kind of feels sketched, like it's sort of falling apart. I don't think anything's broken yet, but I'm, it doesn't sound much better. So you remember what it sounded like earlier, right? Definitely not the same at all. So maybe after like five or 10 decently hard tricks, it might get a little bit loose, which kind of stinks. But it slides really good. Well, we tried the rail, so we might as well do the stairs. Bruh, this thing was actually like built right. You could probably like triple freaking overhead this link, like no problem. Ah, my toe. Oh, frick my toe. Okay, here we go. Come on, jump the stairs. Oh, that didn't sound very good. That sounded like something broke. Okay, now that I'm looking at it, these are 100% plastic core wheels. Like, there's no way there's anything else, which is uh, kind of an L. 270 drops. Oh, yeah, jet front board the ledge. Okay. I think I do want to flare this. I really don't, but I actually really do at the same time. So we're just going to try it. Jen, I haven't even flared my normal scooter yet today, so we're just going to hock it right on this Amazon one. All right, here we go. No run-ups. Oh! Oh, -ho! let's go, say less, I'll take it. Honestly, I couldn't tell if the scooter was breaking or the ramp. It honestly sounded like both, but I think none of them did, so we're good. Let me jump this big hit. Oh yeah, oh my hands. Bar spin sucks, booty hole on this thing. All right, crank speed, come on, over this, jump the big hip. Oh yeah, and no speed, and my bearings are gone. I bet you kick like this would be so easy. Oh my God. Maybe try it on the hip instead. It's so light, like I can't even do the motion. Like to do an actual kickless, you have to be able to feel the scooter and it's so light you really can't. Oh my God, that was so butt. So we flared it, we bried it, we tail it, and we bar spinned it and 
it's sort of broken not really like honestly comparing this to an actual pro level scooter it's really bad okay but for 50 bucks on amazon this is not the worst idea in the world keep it in mind that the people who actually rated this five stars were nobody like me okay they ain't doing flares triple whips and all types of stuff on this so the average user of this is not going to be doing anything i just did so realistically i'm probably going to give this a two two out of five but realistically the average person who's going to buy this that actually rated it five stars might do like a buddy hop and push around so like to the average five-year-old who rides this or buys it this is nice but to me it no oh i also bought two of these so i don't even need this one so if anybody wants it it's here well there you have it that is the highest rated amazon scooter for literally 50 bucks like i said i'd rate it two out of five even though amazon says five but that's pretty much it i'll catch you next time later